Hello class, time for phonics. All right, we're gonna start with a game. I put one minute on my timer. I'm gonna show you a, 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 a special sound. You tell me the special sound, the clue word that goes with it, and I won't have you spell it just so that we can see how many you can get in a minute. So you keep score, you got a pen or something to write it down or maybe uh, another family member can count for you. Ready? Set, go. There was two. Oh in bowl, ow in owl. Ow in out. Or in morning. Ch in church. R in stars. Certain three. E in baby. S in peaches. S in biggest. N in sharpen. Ooh, short U, uh, in adopt, wa in wash, unk in trunk, onk in honk, ink in wink, ank in bank, ung in strung, ong in long, ind in kind, in patch. Oh, oh, all right, I'll give you this one. Can you say it? Old in gold. How'd you do? How many got 10? More? Nice job. Okay, so these are from chart 13 that are a little bit more, a little bit uh, newer to us. So let's review these together. Okay, we learned that there are two, whoops, there are two S-I-O-N special sounds. One has a little more of a zing to it, jeun in television, and this one has the sh sound. Okay, let's do this one first. Say it, jeun in television, s i o n. This one, shun in missionary, s i o n. And then when we put a t in front of the i o n, it also says the sh sound. So Shun in missionary, and this one, say it. Shun in nation, T-I-O-N. War in warm, W-A-R. When we don't have the W, it is what? R in stars. Sure in pasture, T-U-R-E. When we don't have the T, it is? You are in pure. And then the T makes the ch sound. Do it again. Chur in pasture. T-U-R-E. There it is. You are in pure. See that? If you hold up, cover up the T. Do this one. You are in pure. U-R-E. Tin in mountain. T-A-I-N. You don't hear the A. Air in care, A-R-E, and here is a, um, let's see, it's a suffix because it comes at the end of the root word. Say it, full in beautiful hyphen F-U-L. All right, good job with that practice. Um, in Google Classroom, I left you some fun videos for rhyming and opposites. Make sure you listen to those. They help you practice in a super fun way. I have two cards up here that I want to talk about rhyming sounds. The first um, sound that we're looking for is ch in patch. Now, here's the thing. All of them end with T-C-H. That's not the only thing you have to listen to. You also need, you have to listen to the whole ending sound. So that also means the vowel needs to be the same in order for it to rhyme. So my word is catch. Thumbs up if it rhymes, thumbs down if it does not. What rhymes with catch? Fetch. No, does not have the same vowel. Hatch. Yes, that rhymes. Match. Catch. Yes, that rhymes. Let's do the same thing for this card. Ow in out. Now we're listening for the ow sound. My word is trout, shout, yes, f 
flower. No, does not have the same ending sound. It has the middle sound, but not the ending sound. Mouse. No, it has a T, but when the H was added, it created the sound. Nice job. Okay, the last thing that we're gonna do before we look at our worksheets is take out your writing pad and a marker. I'm going to say a um, word and I want you to spell it, okay? Um, actually, I'm gonna start with special sounds. You ready? Okay, write ear in ear. So remember, we're gonna use the side that has the line, so we're gonna do four. Ear in ear. All right, now write er in earth, three letters, er in earth. They might be very similar letters to the one for ear in ear. I don't know, no. Well, I do know, but I'm not telling you. And then one more special sound. Um, coal in clock, coal in clock. Okay, so that filled up three lines. Now on the fourth line, you're going to write a whole word. So listen for the special sounds and write the word. Start, st, r, t, start. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. All right, let's check our work. The first one, ear in ear, you should have written E-A-R. If you did it, give yourself a check, a heart, or a smile. The next one, er in earth. You should have written E-A-R. It was the same. Some of our sounds are spelled the same. They just have different sounds. And the, uh, oh, the next one, call in clock. You should have written C-L. And then for the word, start, st, S-T-R-A-R, -T, start. If you got it, thumb, um, I guess you can't draw a thumbs up. If you got it, give yourself a heart, a check, or a smile. Uh, a heart, oh, a heart, a heart, a star, or a smile. That's what we do. Did you get all four? Maybe you got two of them. That's okay. Keep practicing. Okay, so you're going to be doing um, workbook page 145 today. So again, it's in the pile of papers that I sent home um, on Thursday. Now you're only doing page 145. Don't, don't bother going ahead and doing the other side. That's for tomorrow. 145. So let's look at that together. You're going to be circling your special sounds and marking your vowels that are left over. Shun in nation and shun in missionary. Now, number two, you're going to add a suffix to the root word. You may choose your suffix, but make sure what you choose creates a word that makes sense. Now, none of these follow the 111 rule, and none of these. Um, are silent E. So you do not need to double the consonant and you do not need to drop the E. All you do is add a suffix and make sure the new word is a real word. So that is letters and sounds 145. Language page 145 is something else that you are familiar with. Number one, let's do our sign language for the changing the Y to I rule. Ready? Start with a Y. When a word ends in Y, you change the Y to I and add the suffix. That starts with an E. Grab that part. Did you say it? Do it again. When a word ends in Y, you change the Y to I and add the suffix that starts with an E. Okay, now here in all of these, you're adding ES. Don't forget to add the, y, add the I. You don't just get rid of the Y. You need to give him something to take his place. So ponies, goodbye, Y, P-O-N-I-E-S. Number two, write the names of the people in your family. 
Don't forget to give them all a capital letter because it's their name. And number three, write one sentence about one of your family members. Start the sentence with a capital letter and end the sentence with a punctuation mark. I'll look forward to, to seeing which family member you decided to write a sentence about. That is it for phonics. Remember, neatness counts. 145 letters and sounds, 145 language. Bye-bye.